Fish on. Fish number two for the day. We're fishing the Columbia River this morning for the largest freshwater fish in North America. Fish on, man. Fish on. <laughs> One right after another. Heavy duty fishing takes heavy duty gear. We've got a fish on every rod so far this morning. It doesn't get much better than this. We got two fish on at a time right now. Fish on! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Elby's in the boat all day long. Randy's hooked up again. Another Albi. This is fish like number seven for the day we've hooked. We've lost three so far. We've actually had a pretty good day. The weather's coming up on us. We may have to get the heck out of Dodge here pretty quick. Uh, we're gonna fish as long as we can, of course. And we'll see what happens here. All right, there he is. Richard's got him. Got him in the back. And what do we got? What do we got? We got an albacore. That's a good one. Nice fish. That's a good one. I'm glad Richard had him because Randy didn't. <laughs> Here we go. Nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Let's get these lines back out and rock and roll. Woo! Yeah. And Mr. Richard has got another albacore on for the day. Woo! We just had a triple on. Lost one of them. Right uh, off. Got another gaff job coming in the boat. Right. All right, get him in the boat here, guys. That's a dandy. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Woo! That is a big albie. That is a big albacore right there. Wow. A nice that one. That Maybe that's why I'm grunting. <laughs> What's the matter? A, What's the matter, to, Mike? I'd hate to get a big fish out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at. What happened? Mike just grabbed the long rod. What we mean by the long rods is the furthest line out. It's about 300 feet back, and all he's done is complain. <laughs> Put the rod tip right in the water, Mike. There you go, buddy. Hey, that's a nice fish. Whoa! Yeah. He's not ready. He's not done yet, Mike. You want to try it again? These albacore are so pretty. These are beauty. <laughs> These are beautiful fish. Oh, you don't. A couple more runs, you'll have it. <laughs> Glad you got that one. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna die here. Quit waving the freaking gaff at me. <laughs> I don't remember my life hurt such whining in my life, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Come on, Mike, get your ass. I thought you fished down in Mexico and let them uh, blue fins and stuff whip you. Yeah, I, I was a lot younger, man. <laughs> I'm an old man now. <laughs> here, I'm gonna look like Richard here in a second, man. <laughs> you trying to say I look bad? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big elbow. Now lift, lift your rod, there you go. Knock him off for me. <laughs> there we go, I'll be in the boat. Woo! <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, this is how we play our tune. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come back here by the tail, and I'm gonna just go right underneath the skin. I'm just gonna cut the little pants and stuff off and we go to the anal pants right here. Just like that. Throw this in the trash. 
Now I'm going to roll this tune over. I'm going to do the same thing right up the back. I'm going to start almost right at the tail. Come right all the way up. Just go right underneath the skin. Don't want to cut down too deep because you'll be wasting a lot of meat. So just like this, all the way to the back of the head. Just like that. And our next cuts, we want to come in at a real sharp angle right here underneath this, underneath this fin right here. We're going to come in just like this. I'm going to use a little bit longer knife for this cut. Come in just like this. And we want a really sharp angle. This will come in. If you notice, we're going to come in way high in the top of the head here. And we're going to come in way high underneath the throat as well. Okay. Now we're going to... Now that you saw the top side, we're going to do the same thing here. Come in with a really sharp angle. Come right in behind that fin. Now watch how far I come up underneath the throat. Come in behind the head, just like that. Just like that. So we've got cut. So it looks like this right here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to roll this thing back over on its back. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to cut straight on around right here. Like that, and we're going to save that belly meat. That belly meat is really, really good. It's got a lot of the omega-3 oils in it. There we go. And this is the belly meat. Just like that. Now, this belly meat, I'm going to lay this down. There's a little yellow strip right here. And we're going to cut right beside that. I know I got my hand in the way, but we're going to make two, a couple of cuts like this. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to take the fillet knife and go right underneath this skin, just like that. There we go. That is a little piece of belly fat right there, and that is really good eating. You put this on the barbecue and barbecue it, uh, make sure you put it on a piece of foil because if you don't, you will have a fire. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to cut the skin right off this thing. Knife's getting a little dull. There we go. Now the rest of this can go in the trash. That's the belly meat. Now, well, what we need to do now is come up above the tail, about four or five inches. I like to come above this, whatever that is right here. And I'm gonna make this cut right down to the bone, not through the bone, to the bone. And I've just barely cut, okay? Now, I'm gonna take my fingers and come in here that's the reason I'm wearing my gloves. I'm going to come in here and come underneath the skin. Just like this. I'm going to go right there. I'm going to rip the skin back just like this. I'm going to do the same thing all the way down and around like this. And now that I have something to get a hold of, I'm just going to grab this skin and pull that skin right off. I'm going to pull it right off. That's the reason we made this cut right here. Now the skin goes in the trash. Next thing we're going to do is we have our rib, rib bones here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right in beside that as close to this dark rib bone as I can get. So if you come in really close to it, see this dark meat in here? We've got to cut all that dark meat out. Now that's part of the trim work. So now I've just made one nice cut like this. Now I'm going to come, come around and I'm going to cut just like this. Um, if these plays are cold enough, if you have them on ice, you don't even have to have a knife to do this. You can take your hands and just run it back and forth and they'll come right out. But I'm just coming right along the backbone. It's like, hey! <laughs> what the heck? Right. Go ahead and give me the camera up here. <laughs> I was just attacked by a seagull. <laughs> we'll go ahead and continue on with our playing. <laughs> anyway, now we just cut right along the backbone here. And there we go. Now, this is the flay that we just got off this tuna. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually cut all this dark meat out of here and uh, before we cook it or clean it or anything. And uh, this is one of our flays right here. Now we have the belly flay. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut right down beside this rib, rib bone here. Just like that. And we're going to... I'm going to cut right down to the, the ribs, and I'm just going to very gently just run my knife. This is going to be hard to see here. And I'm just going to run my knife down so that we're just cutting, cutting all of this. 
be cool if you better just come over here and shoot this one. Okay, and I'm just going to continue on the belly meat. There's ribs right here. It looks like I'm wasting meat, but I'm not. But I'm actually cutting right along these ribs. See those ribs? And that's what we're cutting around. That is the belly flay. And again, we'll have to cut all this dark meat out of here. So that is quality, quality meat. Now, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do it a little faster. I'm going to go ahead and make my cut. Now that you got an idea how to do this, I'm going to take my finger, put it under the skin right here. I'm going to start right here. I'm just going to pull forward. I'm going to rip like that, and I'm going to rip the skin right on. We're going a little faster. I'm going to make my belly cut, just like so. And we'll just kind of come right on around. Get all this. Just like that. That's the belly. That's how fast this actually works. Now we're going to do the same thing with this with this back fillet, back loin, fillet, whatever you want to call it. We'll do the same thing. Just come right out here, right here, right here. There we go. And that's how quickly this actually works. There's our back fillet. And I want to check and make sure that we play both sides of the fish because it's really easy not to play the both sides of the fish. You get excited. Uh, think you're really good and you throw half your fish away. So I always double check before I throw them in the trash. Hey, that's how we fillet our fish. Uh, again, it doesn't mean it's right, doesn't mean it's wrong, it's just how we do it. And uh, if you want to try it, give it a shot. You might like it, you might not. What I really like about it is we're actually saving all the belly meat. And uh, that belly meat's really good on the barbecue. Hey, that's it for today. We'll see you next time hopefully out on the water.